All right, what is up, everybody? This is Keith James from Goodbye Gator Guy 231 on Silver. I always want to say, like, across the DFS industry, Alex, just, a, just an old habit I are. And here with my dude, Tilt City fame, Alex Cooper. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Keep, keep saying this fame thing. I don't know that that exists. Oh, for me, but. I mean, I, I guess we're crossing the borders from back from soccer. But in my opinion, Tilt City is always a famous thing. Now everybody's like Googling it. What, what the hell is Tilt City? And they're like, oh, niche DFS soccer podcast. <laughs> yeah, very, very small. I miss it. It, uh, it lives forever, but it lives forever in my team name, Tilt City if, FC. If nothing, um, else, over if nothing else, it'll live forever because I'll just keep bringing it up, Tilt FC fame. And it is the name of your club. Right. So when you're sweeping all the limited divisions here coming up with your random number generator baseball. Yes, that's me. Should you be like Billy Bean fan club? Would that be like something new... something like that? I come from the, the Chris Antonetti school of uh of baseball business. So or we uh, should give you a random number generator gif uh logo for summer. It's all this, man. That's all life is. Life is a random number generator. <laughs> baseball <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm going to get into this, I hope, over the course of us doing this show, just the philosophy of baseball and how it relates to life. It's it's mostly because it's just so random, but the macro micro thing that I talked about in the stats video, it's... I love that video, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. That, that was the one I was looking forward to, and uh, it's gotten a nice response. And I, there's, there's more to dive into. That's the thing. So over time, once I discover things too, like I'm immediately going to bring them to the show. So tune in here if you want to be at the forefront or just pass me. I don't care. Yeah. I, and I, I just had to finish soccer up. I promise we're going to get on task here in a minute, but we're going to like pull, we're going to pull one out like the server Andrews book where it's like 10 minutes before we get into anything and then just like never actually get back on topic. Yeah. But, um, I was like, so it's like the first soccer one I've done again since uh, we've really started going hard in baseball. I'm like, you know, first pitch was kind of a play on soccer too. Yeah, we're going to do both. Uh, we understand the play on it. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> all, all right. So anyhow, let's get into this topic. So we yes. are, what, what is it? I, it feels like we've been in so uh, baseball auctions for like a week and it's been like three days. Um, Ooh, yeah, it's been a wild ride too. But so we're three days in. So our baseball is definitely here to stay. At this point, we're definitely here to stay. We have, uh, I won't say the name of the person, but an old OG so rare bought both uniques yesterday for a total of like <laughs> six feet. Oh, I yeah. didn't see that. Really? I'm not going to say the name on here, but no comment. Um, I, I don't Two need collectibles. I guess. That, I mean, they're not utility, but... They'll be Hall of Famers one day. So, I mean, it, that's the same as, like, having some of those OG top shots, I guess. But like, hopefully... I guess what I was way. saying, though, when I said that, and then I was going to, you know, um, he never walk alone. I, I don't know if you're supposed to say NWA, but he won the Trout first super rare for, mm -hmm. what was it, close to four ETH. Yeah. Like, at this point, there's, like, enough money that's been put into the ecosystem that, like, it's going to be around yeah right yeah right. it's gonna stick like, around it's it, you've got like a like year of like you have enough people that have invested enough that they're gonna keep tossing more investment after it so i, I think obviously you know as, as somebody that with uh 33 eth on the the football side of things obviously i believe in the product yeah um but yeah i i mean i think it's been a great reception now we're going to talk today mainly the, the topic was lineup construction. So we will eventually get to it. But I want to just talk about you've had your reactions. Kind of want to just be on talk with you about reactions on my side too. I haven't bought one yet. I, I've made plenty of bids. And yeah. um, so I, I will share the first observation and then you comment. But first observation when I was this morning going, you know, I woke up this morning. I was like, okay, let me check out some rares and super rares. I'm not really looking at limited. And um, you notice like, all the stuff that sold like eight hours ago. So this was at 8 a.m. So at like midnight, between like 8.30 p.m. and like 1 a.m., I feel like just deals have happened both nights. Yep. Yeah, I, the thing that I saw on, it was either night one or two. Let's see, Tuesday was the All-Star game into Wednesday. Yeah, so it was the night after the All-Star game. There was a Shane Bieber limited. I mean, he was going for like 0.09 
or 0.1 is his one and two are up there and then he sold overnight at 4 a.m for 0.022 that's like so 500 less whatever yeah yeah and then <laughs> at 8 a.m his number four came up and it sold for 0.079 right so you had that whole overreaction or like lack of bidding and then a okay, that was too cheap, but now is that number two meant too expensive? Like, right. we still have a lot of, what, what you know, I, I heard HG call it, and I thought it was the best thing, price discovery. Like, yeah. I don't think limited price discovery is over until, like, mint 10, mint 15. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I mean, we're on, we're past, like, I think the 11s went last night. I saw the Jose Ramirez. Right. So today, yeah. today might really be the thing where you can, have enough of a sample because I, I do think at this point all the number ones you just don't even you can't even consider right as part of sample size right and i've been kind of trying to find values like taking points earned so far divided by the uh the average eth paid and i mean they're just so skewed that number is so skewed just because of how high those number ones went right. and where they're going now but yeah i'm i'm in the process of bidding on three different limiteds to finish out my just my limited team like i don't I wasn't too concerned with like, I know these are going to depreciate and that price discovery is going to come and I'm going to be like still over the rest of the field sure. by a little bit, but I just wanted to pay the price to be in on the game week one, whatever it is. But um, it's at the point now where I'm putting the same bid in on these guys expecting it to come down and they're all coming in generally at the same, same right. uh, so spot. So realistically, now. yeah, realistically, I could just pay the, like the Christian Walker, uh, we've talked about him Your guy. plenty. Yeah. Um, I, I need a corner infielder to round out my team and I'm just bidding like 0.0149 because he's going like for 0.015 to 0.016. And I just keep getting hit with and that next bid. And, right. I will eventually. Gonna be, I mean, you got to think there's five minutes a day at this point. Yeah. And you're going to, I mean, so that's the, but I want to bring up two topics. So really quick. One, please. Just the point that I was getting, like that extra 0.001 isn't going to matter to me at this point. So I might just pay up and just do it. So like, but it's at the point where it's stagnant. So I think now you can feel a little more comfortable, but that's all I was going to say. Go ahead. Right. Because the ones obviously we saw just for most players was just such an outlier. Yeah. But um, I wanted to say the one thing that I think is going to be really interesting as we get to mints. Like, so let's keep in mind, limited 5,000, 5,000, 500, 5,000. Of which, what is it? Fifty percent are auction, fifty percent are held for um, rewards. We only had half the season, so I would cut both of those numbers in half. Um, and we know even on from the football game, limiteds never got close to a thousand. Right. So I say all that to say, I think the market dichotomy that we just saw with the whole like eight p.m. to like one to two a.m. being um, a sweet spot. It's just showing like what we kind of already knew as American silver players on a football front. There's not a lot of market penetration in, in America where baseball eventually needs to be. And it's going to take them time. So I do think there's, if you can be like, there, there's two trains of thoughts, right? If you can be patient, I think we're going to get to the point where there is market saturation, that there's just not enough users to withhold or keep the prices super high until the actual like baseball American fans come into the game and Lord knows there's going to be enough advertising because Soder and MLB are working together on this product. So that would be point one. I think that's something really interesting to watch. And then point two, even if you are getting in and you overpay a little bit, who the F cares? This is a game. Have fun. Me and you were just talking about, um, the incremental gains law. I was talking to you about, if anybody ever wants to see, just like, I'm fascinated by this. Research a Great Britain cycling team and like all these incremental improvements the guy did. But anyhow, I still think that that can be stacking rewards incrementally, like 0.001, 0.002 at a time. And Lord, we know these cards are going for a lot more than that. So if you win, let's say that you overpaid by 0.05 ETH for your first team, you're probably two game weeks in and you're making it back. Yeah. If you can make cards. So. Right. Unless you just bought a, a terrible team or something like well, that. Which... Unless you bought all number ones. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. That's going to be you're, tough you're, to you're, It's going to take some time. You, you need to win yourself an Otani or a Mike Trout. Like you need a right. podium. Here. Yeah. And I think, again, like we're at the point now where, I mean, maybe not one to one, but the price, like you said, if you overbid by that amount or whatever, 
maybe not in the limited market because the limited market's wild and I could see like with how much saturation there's going to be like I could see some guys going for like whoever puts the first bid in by the end of the season or something like that which is fine but the the difference is going to be so negligible I think that you can sell a lot of guys that you buy especially if you just like win a reward sell it immediately you'll make that back but even the turnover like I don't know if there's going to be as much turnover with players on the secondary market as there is in soccer just because some things are in season some things are out of season rotation injuries stuff like that but I think you're just going to be able to make it back pretty quickly by just being in and selling off at opportunistic times it's in and you're gonna have fun you're gonna have fun that's I mean, like, to me, like, if we're going to get a brand of this channel, okay, Alex, it's fun. Like, like the money and stuff like that, obviously, we're, you know, the the uniques were not bought for six ETH to just stare at, right? Obviously, that was an investment, so to <laughs> those, speak. Those two might be. <laughs> right. Well, I'm, I'm making a point like that. Those are like, the, plenty of people are here for the money, but if you can, like, have that part but also compartmentalize game and fun you're gonna enjoy silver so much more like the big reason i like when i started really enjoying soccer uh football for i'm gonna keep saying football right because i keep they literally keep tabbed possibly. it football they yeah. tabbed it football so we're good okay even though the mls just beat the epl so it is called soccer yeah twice but, i don't my goodness oh my goodness everton holy crap any <laughs> different topic but yeah. um I started really having fun and funny enough playing, doing much better when I just started like having fun and stop being so worried about what my players were worth at any given moment. I'm like, you know, you, if you had a card that wasn't doing that well, like I remember Reynoso has been like amazing for my gallery, got hurt in a friendly last night, but um, at one point he was like tanking. I was yeah. like, Oh my God, should I be selling his prices tanking? And I'm like, actually, I think he's freaking awesome. Yeah. I think he's going to turn it around and I'm just going to keep plugging him in because I watched the game and it's obvious that he's the best player on the pitch. And all of a sudden now his value shot through the roof from where I paid for it, but it's because I didn't overreact to his price thinking. I didn't mean I need to get rid of it. He wasn't hurt. He wasn't like going to transfer to Saudi Arabia. It was just, he was going through a bad spell. And again, let's talk about a baseball front. There's going to be some dudes that are going to go through some spells. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That there's going to be a lot of that. And I think the key is being aware of what that means. Like if you're, if you're looking to make a profit by trading, which I think if you're a smaller gallery in football, it's one of the best things you could, I think I've made most of my money on the football side through trading. The other is the, (laughs) The best way you can improve your uh, baseball team too is by getting a rare all-star soccer team and churning that Ethereum and then right, re- right. and reinvesting it. But I've made a lot of my money through trading. So in baseball, what that's going to kind of turn into is, I mean, people are reactionary and people are especially reactionary with their money. So once good players or, you know, players with, I, I went through those expected statistics. Once you see yep. players who are outperforming their expected statistics and have this hot run where like they hit four homers and you know five six games and you check on that price and it starts to go up just sell man like you yeah. can find another comparable player for the same price and yep. just replace him and then when he gets hot you sell him but then you just buy low like this is this is a stock market for sure and people are gonna be really reactionary I- especially with some big names I think that that's exactly what you were, what I was thinking too. Like the reaction in baseball is going to be like, you know, the, the fun thing to watch. And um, I shared it with like our soccer discord on the DFS side every once in a while. Um, the funniest thing, like the, remember when we used to get the server data um, price notifications when something would get sold? I yeah. know that notice that bot doesn't work anymore, but it would be so funny to watch like the a, a Premier League morning or something and somebody scores two goals. And just seeing notification after notification, guy sells, guy sells because people are like, oh my God, he scored a goal. I need it. Yeah. I'm watching right. the game. He scored a goal. Which is the last thing you should be doing. Right. But so I was just thinking as you were talking about that, like, all right, we, we know this happens, but the bloop single for a guy that somehow just is like perfectly in the gap and there's miscommunication between the center and the right fielder and the ball gets to the wall and the guy gets a home run. 
He yeah. gets it inside the park home run. And the scores are like, it's not an error because they all effed up so bad. I don't know right. who to give the error to. No one touched so, it. Yeah. So there's no error, but the error should be like the entire team. So the guy got a home run. Yep. And, you know, you look at the advanced numbers and he didn't barrel. The bat broke. Like right. he chased, he chased the ball too. You're right. And <laughs> no other hard hit contact, but he homered. Like sell the hell out of that guy right, right. now. Right. Yeah. Like he just got the most random homer ever but the person that's just watching box scores doesn't see that right and hype hype comes and goes so quickly and uh or can you imagine like the five for speaking of that five for five guy five bloop singles sell him right yep yeah and you know a lot of those times even if that five for five game isn't necessarily like the jumping off point like oh wow we saw this guy go five for five, but even when people look back at the stats and look at like the L 15 numbers, they're still going to be exactly. inflated. Like this guy's hitting 428 over his last 15. Well, yeah. That's because he got five hits in a game. And he's or, been or like, he had a two game stretch where he went nine for 10. Yeah. And then the last three games, he's zero for eight with seven strikeouts. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just, it's so, going to happen. It's going to happen. And again, it's what I talked about in the stats video you're looking either micro or you're looking macro. If you want to judge based on a season's performance, make sure the sample size is big enough. If you want to, if you see a guy going on a nice run and like he's had a big week or two or whatever, check those expected stats, check the the batted ball data to see if the physics are right and see if it's uh, something that's repeatable and something that's predictable. I'll, but, I'll be really interested. Then we'll get to lineups. The last yeah. little like thought. I just, I just, this is like the conversations I love to like listen to and just be thinking about, but I can't wait for, don't give me a Yankee and don't give me like Mike Trout. Give me like a guy that's like super heated right now on the market, but it's like just below the top tier. Just give me a random name. Oh, geez. I'd have to, I'd have to, you're talking like overrated. No, like he's a good player and his L15s are great. And <laughs> Matt so Carpenter, he's a Yankee, but like Okay, he's... let's do that. That that that's fine. He's not Aaron Judge. I, I think like an Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton are always going to hold some intrinsic value because of name. Matt Carpenter's a good one. Yeah. I heard you on the stats video talk about he's the best hitter in baseball the yeah. last five and laugh hysterically after the fact. So Matt Carpenter's a really good one. So, you know, he's maybe going is he going for a little bit more than he probably should be right now in the market? Yeah, he's I I truly think people are going through the market and looking at the number of the, the points that appear next to their names because like um I'm guilty when I'm just sitting there and bored as I'm feeding my my baby and just like having 30 minutes to spend, I'm just flipping through. I'm totally I'm like, I don't know who this guy is, but right now he's got nine the last five. Let me, right. let and me like, toss a bit on him. <laughs> It's it's the worst thing you can do, man. Like that number should not be there. It is incredibly no, no. Like, it needs to be there. And that's, right. That's called. Edge. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It means but, nothing to me. But like, if it's going to drive the market and it's going to help me find some values, then that's fine. But yeah, was, Matt Carpenter. We're going to go with Matt right Carpenter, though. Okay, so he's looking great right now, and now his price is established while he's going good. But when he hits an over fifteen run, and he even gets a day off to go think about himself, yeah, and like think about like what's going on because that will happen so you not only get 0 for 12 over like a three game stretch of a series then he starts out the next series on the bench i'm really curious to see the reaction yep because i yep. think the reaction is going to be like drastic i People agree running to get off of a guy thinking it's over and he's a platoon guy too, I think. I think they're using him in a part-time so maybe, role anyway. So, so that's a really good example. But like, you know, I don't think like a Mike Trout or an Otani, you've been talking about Otani because I haven't had, hasn't had a great year anyways. I think that their value is just built in. It's like, sure. it's like Messi in football goes on a goalless streak. He ain't, he ain't crashing. Like right. He, everybody knows like – there's always going to be a sharp person out there that goes, Oh, you're going to try to undercut Messi. Cool. I'll just buy him. Yeah. So right. I think that's going to always be the same with like the judge Otani uh, trout guys. Yeah. But I'm really curious about these, these guys that shoot up because of L 15s and L fives yep. just to see how much of the cliff dive is when they, when they hit their slumps because slumps are inevitable. Yeah. I, th I think if you have a guy who is hot and you go to the L 15, look where they rank on so rare data. And if it's towards the top, like just cut bait. Cause you he'll regress back to the mean his price will too you can buy him back and just pocket that 
Like I, the first day, I think the second rotation, no, the, the third mint AJ Minter, I've mentioned him and I, uh, I, I got him at the third mint and I think I paid 0.035, but the market was still crazy and it was really volatile. And I just posted him at 0.05 and it sold overnight. And right. like hype is driving a lot of this right now. And you can just make some profit. Like I just pocketed that 0.01. Like that's going to pay for my Christian Walker. Just that say, one sale. Like that's your corner infielder. Yeah. So that's and then cool. I'm done buying limiteds. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll probably do at some point, not, not necessarily like a flip episode, but just like uh, exploiting the market. Yeah. and efficiencies or something like that so anyhow we don't have too much more time let's go in lineup so yeah. i'm gonna let you share your screen we're gonna do real quickly but we're gonna have some fun here doing like here was the goal of today was what we wanted to do was actually put together alex's and we can do mine next if we, sure. if we have some time um but like how to build a lineup right so if you've played sort of football at this point you know gauging matchups and things like that but i want alex to go through and build us a lineup and like just let's go over what we're thinking and like what the mindset would be and like what factors we're thinking about when setting a lineup. And obviously we're a little bit earlier. When, when does this game week lock? Is it? Uh, it locks Friday at 6 okay. 30. So we're we're, okay, good. Okay. So we're, 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 that, that's how much I know right now. It's like, we're, so we're, we're within time. So we know we should know expect the starters and everything. Yeah. Yep. All okay. right. We'll so uh, okay. right. I saw three more people register as you were registering. I love that. All right. That's good to see 30,000 though. That's a nice. Yeah. Number. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, All right. You have the, I see a cheat code already. What's that? Sandy. He's that not was the pitching. first time we got to watch him. He's so good. Oh my he's God. He's very good, but he's not, oh he's God. not probable. He's not going to pitch this weekend. Okay. So, so, whoa, freeze. There's step one. Yep. Because guess what? Sower didn't tell us that he's not pitching this series. Yep. I got, I mean, how uh, many people do you think? Oh, it does. It does yeah, say right it. here, right here. Yeah, okay. you got it. So I have, I think? have two real options. I think a lot of people are going to start him still. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if casuals start, like this was my pick. Like this was my right. common guy. Think about like that's Garrett Cole. Right. Oh, Garrett Cole. I mean, I don't know if he's pitching or not, but you get my points. Yeah. I don't know if he is either. Cause I don't like that guy. They have you a double, have they have a double header today too. So it's not scored um oh they're playing today yeah they're playing too there's a couple of there's a couple of games today here i'll pull it up so watch that too so like again we're just talking about lineups you need to be watching that too if you own other players hammy. yep make sure none of your guys leave early like pull to hammy or right. something like that right yep yeah definitely do we have alex i don't actually don't know this this answer is there anything like sofa score for baseball where you get like player notifications if he gets subbed out early no, not that I know of. Okay. Not that okay. I know. If anyone out there knows, drop in the comments because I would yeah. love to get. I would love to. That's get a it. huge advantage on football. Is like anybody that's in my gallery, you know, Sober Data does it, but um, and uh, SofaScore does it. But yeah. you know, you get the little plus sign for the injury, so right. you know to investigate more. I'd like to get AB by AB. You know, uh, I love that. Updates. Well, I'm sure Sober Data is going to get there. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. The Sober Data app is going to be killer. Yes. You already know it. We already know it. We don't even right. know anything and about it. We don't have any inside. We just know that they're going to crush it. Right. All right. So let's get into yeah. this really quick. Um, okay. So really, I only have two options at starting pitcher. That's fine. Logan Gilbert, Mike Miner. So my first question, I mean, Logan Gilbert is by far the superior pitcher. And who are they playing? That's the next thing. Yeah. See, that should be the first thought, not just like their L5. So it's not just who are they doing? It's who are they playing and where? That's the other thing in baseball. Yeah. Where? What right. ballpark? Right. So let's see. I need the Mariners and the Reds. So the Reds are at home, which is already a bad thing because that is the right. is that, that's like Coors Light. Is, still, is it still Great American Small Park? Yes, exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. That's what we call it in DFS. For I like that. Time. I haven't heard that before. I like yeah. that. But Great yeah, American so Small Park. Mike Miner's a powder keg anyway. And uh, let's see. Seattle. Okay. At Seattle. Oh, so it's the Astros. It's the but Astros. It's not Seattle is a good ballpark. I think it is, yes. But, you know, it's against maybe the best offense in baseball. Jordan Alvarez, I believe, right. is going to be back. So you only have two options, though. Let's, let's go back to the. You only have two options. One is not a great pitcher in a bad ballpark versus a good team. And the other one's a good team, but in a better ballpark. Talent is yeah. still going to win out there. Yeah. 
And we're actually, I know, I know for a fact, we're going to end up back on Mike Miner because I've ran through this already and cool. I, I kind of cool. already know what's going on here. So we'll, we'll get there. So there's your boy. Yeah. And I'm probably not going to take him because Jordan Romano, I mean, like AJ Mentor is a great deal um, on the market. He's actually, I got him for double what I ended up paying. I have Jordan Romano's limited now, but he's on a great team and he's a closer and he's one of the highest scoring um, relief pitchers. Well, so there you go. That's, that's an easy one. That's a layout. Would you even at that point with relief pitchers? I, I think the answer is no. Relief pitchers at that point, we're not really going to care about mashup because that is back totally into the random number generator. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And uh, whether or not they get a chance, yada, yada. So correct. Okay. And then also too, within this, let me just make one other point. Mm -hmm. I think we're in commons. You only got a certain amount of cards. Once you start getting depth to your gallery, this is going to take longer time. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. And maybe we'll do another one of these once we get some more depth in our gallery. Sure. And when there's more contests you can enter, because like the pro right. limited pro versus limited all-star is going to change. Right. Things, maybe so. like, you know, PSG talks about always figure out which one's going to always be the lineup that you're prioritizing. Yes, exactly. All right. So corner infielder, I have two choices. Um, there's a little oh, bit of a dilemma happy. here. Yeah. Bad choices. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit of a uh, strategy here because Owen Miller can play middle infield and Charlie Culberson can play outfield. So I guess realistically, oh. I'm going to skip yeah. it and see what my, my you, option you got, is. Here. You got some extra utility out of your crappy players. There. Yeah, I did, but they still suck. <laughs> um, All right. So we'll come back to that because of that. So, so okay. Middle. So here's the thing, middle infielder, Owen Miller's got four games in this game week. Kevin Newman's got oh, three. Oh, that's a huge deal. Yes, it is. Look at the Does Owen Miller play, play every game? Does he play every day? Uh, mostly. Um, he's been getting – He's he was playing first, and then he was playing second. See, that's the thing to look into. So I'm going to go to right. – Because it's cool if you get four games, but if you're only going to play half of them, then I'll take the guy that's going to play all three. Yeah, right. Where's Culverson? His name's – And by the way, okay. like – while, while you're looking up, um, he's on fan graphs. Uh, if you are like, I don't know what, why he's using that stat site, make sure you check out, we called it cheat codes, but make yeah. sure you check out the stat video and Alex went over the reasons for all this. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. So here's Charlie Culverson. I'm doing this because he was a part of the middle infield and I want to speed this up. So um, he didn't even play the last two games. When he does, he's an eight hitter, nine hitter, seven yeah. hitter pinch hit That's not so great. yeah so he's not really an option for me so what i'm actually right. gonna do just now that i've said that is i'm gonna go back and i'm just gonna pick owen miller because okay. he's a better and now, option and now prop boy so carson kelly is carson kelly's a catcher playing three games he's only gonna play two of those play two. so yeah, that's I mean, another thing about catchers is they're never normally on a three or four game where you can almost always guarantee they're gonna set one subtract one unless yeah. it's wilson Contreras or alejandro kirk because they'll dh did, but did you, you have watch, to have a catcher's good enough as like a random and just how behind i am on baseball we had a dfs all-star game and the two wilson Contreras is right by and yeah um mega roller my, our mlb guy he he's like a data guy yeah and on air i'm like dude you accidentally hit wilson Contreras twice and he's like no there's two of them i'm like okay there's william <laughs> there's william and wilson it's and they're both well, w, in, w i l l I'm, I'm trying to read uh excel on the screen it's nice and small and i just my my mind inserted this <laughs> that's funny that's funny oh yeah so kevin newman newman yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Kevin Newman. I had to actually look into this because Carson Kelly's hitting the ball better, but I'm just gonna take my free games and go. I think you I'm, should all. So on that, I don't I think it's a layup. By the way, I don't think it's a layup because I think Carson Kelly can produce more in two games than Kevin Newman can in three. So um, it's not a home run hitter. You, Kelly you knew my question. That's. Oh. I think that that's just an interesting debate because I think from a floor perspective that you always go with the more games if you have an everydayer, but I think from a upside perspective. If you know that this is one that you're trying to podium, maybe you go with the guy with the better, better upside. I think I'm going to go for it, actually. Do it. I mean, let's be real. There is 75 rewards for 35 or 750 rewards for 30,000. So I think you have to go for it. Let's see. I don't think this is playing safe time. Is he? I don't know if he's their starter, first of all. Where's all right? Kevin Newman's a leadoff hitter, though. That you got okay. you got us on new tab right now. This is invigorating. Oh, my quality. bad. <laughs> bad TV. All right um uh, carson kelly uh gonna start so he should play two games but he's gonna hit seventh all right and I'm just for actually, this, just for this gonna, you run rotowire rotowire is that good projected lineups 
uh, as far as I know. Um, uh-huh. I haven't really battened. I don't usually use daily lineups and anything that I've had to do, but that's just where I've been going because cool. it's accessible. Cool. But all right. all right. So here's Culberson again. Um, Screw him. Yeah, he's bad. Cole Calhoun's been horrible. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go Josh Lowe. I just need to make sure. Okay, he's going to hit seven ish. Cole Calhoun's going to hit five. At, at Oakland, the, though. At Oakland, Oakland's which is bad. big. Yeah, we don't like that. Um, really See, quick. I still know my ballparks. Even though I've been gone a long while, I still know my parks. Well, here you go, too. If you go to Glossary and Park Factors, you can You're find all of this. Do they have, a, do they have, they have, a, they have 2021. It defaults to 2020. That. But um, these are these are five-year runs, for what it's worth. Right. Okay. Unless you go hand in this. So if you have a specific side, like... Oh, that's funny. So home runs for, yeah. and then let's. That's see how you can get really. Yeah, deep. here you go. Like six percent worse than yeah, league Oakland's average. Bad. So, yeah. yeah. You know what's so, funny though? The Royals was is where Josh Lowe was below it, which I oh, thought really? was interesting. Yeah, I thought KC was actually half decent. Look, and that's for that's for a righty. That's, that's for a righty. Park, I, just, just go straight park back there. Oh. See, it's way low. Yeah, they are both bad. But so also, Cole Calhoun there. Calhoun's awful though. I don't want to play him. I don't. I don't want him at all. You were gifted a great common gallery. No, that was, <laughs> that was sarcasm. Yeah. sarcasm. Yeah, yeah. So royal. Yeah. So yeah. Home run wise, Royals are down there. I mean, I think it's this is the true ran. You always joke ran number generator. Just go with your gut. Yeah, that's an easy one. Okay. So best of the rest. I think I'm Man. just gonna go with Carson Kelly. Yep. You already talked about it. And I, don't like, know. I don't know. I don't know. See, I think these guys are about equal. Calhoun's been so bad. See, but three games. No, I, want, I, want, against... I want three games chances to hit home yeah. runs. Okay. And now we're back to Mike Miner because we know how bad the rest of your lineup is. So here's the question. Yeah. So do you go Mike Miner? Right. Do you go for two games of Carson Kelly? You're not going Charlie Culberson. Or do you go no. a couple games of AJ Minter? Like best case. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to so rare data. I think it's minor. I agree, but just for the sake of showing. And and then I just saw my old reward, Mike Mike Majin, who I can't Mike, say right. Mike Nan. I'm just calling anybody with name Magic Mike. I like that. Okay, so best case scenario here out of minor, I'm getting like 19, 19, 19 right. to 22 points. It could be 7 to 11. So if I just go At least to... He's home. At least he's home. This is true. In a bad ballpark with like a 669 ERA, which is actually overperforming his expected stats. He's pretty bad. Look at so, Minter. AJ Minter, you could get two games out of and get 29 points. Is, I think they, oh man, that's a tough one. He really is a baller. Yeah, he's good. Um, I'm going to go Minter. I kind of like it. Because like, I, at least with him, I'm probably not going to get negative points and I could totally yeah. see it with uh, with big homie okay. Miner. So, all right. That's cool. That's my cool. team. I like it. My team yeah. has Cole Calhoun. Great. You're like, when is limited going to open up? So I don't, yeah. don't have to make that decision ever again. So here's my, uh, also just really quick training. Um, yep. I'm just going to throw everyone that I have going. Here's my limited. Yay, Evan Charlie Hogan. Culberson. Boom. But make sure if you have limited, that all your limiteds get trained. Because now you're going to get that XP boost. So yes. Um, this is tough because Gosman's not pitching and I might get points on Devin Williams. But anyway, that's my that's my first training team. Well, you so. can do another training team, so. I could. I and then, know. well, I don't know that I can fill it, but maybe in time. But all right. That's that it. it. That was fun. Well, I, um, cool stuff. So we'll definitely be back. I, I'm going to always be on here once a week. Alex will have any sort of other random uh, stuff that comes up on the feed. Make sure, again, you like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Definitely helps. Um, and then find our pod feeds. Uh, it should be up on Apple any day now, um, but it's definitely in Spotify. So we're first pitch. Anything else to end with, Alex? No, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys for watching. With that, we'll say, see you.